in the next generation technology and the ability to create it is going to be a mandatory skill for success. Imagine technology is all around us. We use gadgets and equipment all powered by computers. And so as a way of giving back to the community, we are organizing um, what we're calling the coding caravan, um, looking at different venues, um, people from different backgrounds and walks of life, the people in the communities, the less privileged, the, the privileged, bringing them all together and introducing them to these concepts that we believe are going to be lifelong. My mom and I were talking about how I will spend my vacation. She said I'll be doing something based on coding. I've never heard about coding. I heard about the coding caravan when my mom introduced this to me. She said that she wanted me to go because I like producing with the laptop and finding out new stuff about technology. It surprised me when my teacher, Mr. Fawcett, told me that I'm coming to a program. My friend told me about it. I actually spoke to his brother about it that I'm interested in the computing stuff. So if he hears anything about it, he can let me know. Then I think when he told me about it, and I told him I would like to join. We started this program from the beginning of the month of August, and throughout the month of August, every Friday, we move from community to community, creating platforms and sharing skills development with young people. So you're all welcome to the Digital uh, Design and Creative Hub. And then today is the coding caravan. We are going to actually create a game. It's called the Dark Race. Can we all say it? It's about a duck who is called Tony, okay? And then Tony is going to navigate her way through um, some maze and collect some things along the way. As an instructor, I introduced the children to the concept of coding, but then in a fun and easy way. I teach Tinker Toys, Code It, and Scratch, and some other programs. So we all know of two-dimensional animations or cartoons, right? Exactly. And then we know three-dimensional um, animations or cartoons. So we see the comparison and then the difference over there. So as our friend said, we see all the parts of a three-dimensional object. Okay. So the reason why it's three-dimensional is because it has three dimensions, which is um, length, breadth, and then height. I've learned how to use the laptop because I wasn't perfect using the laptop. So I learned about how to code games. I learned that coding is putting well, one or more instructions together for a computer to perform. I learned how to change colors of things and add things to maybe a backdrop or a character. I learned how to create 3D objects. And I learned that 3D is a three-dimensional activity which has breadth, width and length. Today's program here has taught us how to make games and all about these 3D printers and others. I learned that it's a printer that prints 3D objects. You can print anything with 3D printers. And I also learned how to use simple words to code and able to make games. So I created a game, something little about a bed, which will fly. You press your space bar, which allows it to fly in the sky. And when it gets down, like below 180 degrees or above, and it touches the ground, you lose your game. You have to keep your bed flying in the sky. We have different types of coding. We have the block-based coding, and then we have the text-based. The text-based is a bit difficult, so we start them with a block-based programming, where the base have the text blocks together. They have no idea of what programming is all about, but before we leave here, they get an idea of what it's all about, and some even learn how to use the laptop that we use to teach them. The coding caravan has been an exciting journey. First, we started with elite students, and then we moved into communities where kids were exposed to the use of computer for the very first time. We also moved to places where kids were already exposed to the use of computer and also places where kids had never heard about coding. We had situations where 
we went into communities. Um, we had to go to homes, talk to parents, get kids out, give them our t-shirts and bring them into, into the coding class. Some of them found it very difficult to start learning how to code, but at the end of the program they were all excited. We exposed them to the use of the 3D printer, how to design things using the 3D software called Tinker Toys, and also how to create games using our coded tool. Previously, we were targeting most of the private schools because of the structure of our, our model. But for now, since COVID has really exposed us, our programs are online and it is open for all. So it cuts across every device. We are rather encouraging the public schools to get on board to have a better understanding of what digital skills is. You know, before we started, we used to be in the comfort of our hub always doing this with our smart board and it was so easy and comfortable and we had to now go to places like Adenta where we we had to struggle with the uh, connection there we had to struggle with getting the projectors to present the way we want to present it and so going about the teaching was even quite different even though we're able to pull through as part of our objectives of the organization. We believe that starting with the young ones is very important because the old ones are already rusty. It is more advisable to get the young ones because they have a better understanding of these digital uh, uh, skills. Ultimately, we, we intend to get even down into our schools, the school system, um, and start coding clubs empower the schools, empower the technology, ICT teachers um, to make coding and technology attractive to the students. Um, and, and, and so we, we, we are intending to make this a national movement. This is just the start. I told my friends that it was amazing that you come to coding classes and learn more. Because it, even if you don't want to try it, at least you should try it. You should try the scratch up because it has its own tutorials which could help you. I will tell my friends that they should come and it's not boring, it's actually fun and entertaining and it helps you learn new things about technology. I'd recommend it by showing them some of the brilliant things that can be taught here. It doesn't depend if you're a boy, a girl, small or big. You can do it as long as you set your mind to it. I also thank the organizers for teaching me more about coding. This era of uh, computer, I think these programs will help the school, especially the form trees who are going to write their examination, to practice more. It has opened up the children. They are able to think, since they are able to play with their hands. And then with the little ones, they are able to uh, get in touch with a, a laptop computer to practice with it and, and uh, that gives them the impetus to know what to do with a computer anytime they get access to it. IT Consortium decided to partner with IIPGH because um, we are celebrating our 20th anniversary. Now we decided to partner with them mostly because we realized that um, they, they are pursuing a very worthy course and training children at this stage is very important, it's very critical to their development as people and as um, future leaders. So we at Genius IT Foundation are privileged to have IITGs as, part, as partners where we are looking forward to doing a lot of things together so that we can expose our activities to the world through their strategic partnership and also to help us to be able to reach more people. Technology companies should come aboard the vision. We are the ones who are going to create the Ghana that we desire. They should come aboard, let's, let's you know, invest some of our money um, in, in, in seeing to that vision of making Ghana a technology hub. So I would want to use this platform to invite corporate Ghana to also think of supporting initiatives like this. You need um, financial support. We have the technical knowledge to help with the support. We want Ghana not to be just a consumer of technology, but a producer of technology. And, and, and we don't want to limit it to just people who have gone to do computer science in school, but anybody should be able to create technology. That's, that's our vision. Um, and, and ultimately, we believe that with the collaborations like yours and, and others, 
we will be able to get there. The Coding Caravan, we believe, is a very good program that will help um, in awareness creation when it comes to ICT, education, and when it comes to creativity and uh, you know, critical thinking. But um, it also requires a lot of support from stakeholders to be able to do this. IT Consortium has uh, been able to uh, support on this and we're looking forward to getting a lot more support and getting this program to the village near you. Thank you.